<clears throat> hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Kevin and Mikhail. We are back with part two of our video. Um, on this video, we're going to just talk about what's going on in America. Are you taking a knee? Are you not? The stuff that Donald Trump tweeted out and everything. Mind you, this video may be uploaded on the 26th of September, but we recorded this on the 25th. And I'm not aware of anything else that happened at the 6 o'clock p.m. That's the time that we recorded this video. Um, if you're a first time watching to the Scorpion Show, I hope that you click the subscribe button. Also, make sure that you share this video to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or wherever you choose to share our videos on social media. Um, and I really am looking forward to reading your comments and replying to your comments. Mm -hmm. um, over the weekend, Donald Trump... Uh, had a lot to say and I think it was really to distract us from what was found out about how Russia tried to hack into 21 states and to avoid that from being the lead story Donald Trump got on Twitter to uh, uninvite uh, Steve Curry Steph. Steph Curry to the White House and with that being said it led a big firestorm of tweets from the president and it, um, it fired up LeBron James to call Donald Trump a bum and was saying you can't uninvite somebody who wasn't coming anywhere to the White House. And I mean, they got over a million likes and almost half a million retweets. And throughout that, you know, uh, the Warriors who uh, Steph Curry plays for, they released a statement. Uh, the NBA released a statement. Everyone was just releasing statements. But I, I heard mean, that they're still going. Are they still going to Warriors? Um, they're not going to the White oh, House. Yeah, they're not going to the White House, but, but they're going, going to DC to, go, to like yeah. attend some type of well, charity. What they, what they should do is go to the African American Museum and donate something to them. Yeah. That would be really nice. They it's should. Just, just be a big F you to Donald Trump. Which is right down the street from the White House. Yeah. Like, you can walk yeah. down the street. And, and even though Barack Obama still has, I mean, even Barack Obama still lives in DC, I think they should go to his house. Yeah. yeah. Go to his house, have a big barbecue, and then post a picture. Yes, because like, Donald Trump was still the president. That I mean, it would be <laughs> oh, epic. Bitch, a big barbecue on his block. I would love that. And I would go. I would love to go. I miss Obama. Yeah. I do. I, I'm I, starting to miss him. I miss him, but I'm glad he's not the right. president because they didn't respect him while he was in there. But now that he's out, oh my God, everybody wants him back in there. Everybody. And then we got, we got shit going on. With um, health care, they're going to try one more time to uh, get rid of Obamacare. John McCain said, hell no. Rand Paul said, hell no. And they're trying to get two, who is it, Murkowski and, what's the other Collins. name? Collins and Murkowski, they're trying to find out what they're going to say. But that's because they, they keep trying to rush this repeal. Mm -hmm. They don't have a good enough replacement. And they keep just trying to throw out anything. And even some of the Republicans who want to get rid of Obamacare. They're like, listen, we want to get rid of it as much as y'all do, but we're not going to sign on to something just to say we're going to get rid of it and then this all bags fired. Mm -hmm. And that's how it should be. If you're going to replace something, you need to look to find what is the best way and the best option to replace it. Not just replacing it simply because y'all ain't like the man and we want to get rid of everything that he accomplished in his eight years so that it'll look like he never accomplished anything. Mm -hmm. That It's not... It's yeah, not he's right. trying to get rid of everything that Obama has done. Right. I mean, everything. And shout out to those Republicans who are saying no every time a new bill comes around because they're like, listen, no, y'all just trying to give us... You're going to do this the right, right way. You're going to do it the right way, not the wrong way. And, they, and they, they need to do it the right way. They need to work with um, Democrats and they need to, they all need to work together. Democrats, come out with a Republicans, Independents, all of them need to work together. That's right. All of them. And if y'all don't work together, you're always going to be pointing fingers. You're pointing fingers at the Democrats for Obamacare, but Obamacare helped save the lives of many of people. And even though some premiums went up, people still were able to keep their insurance and stuff. So I think that they all need to work together to find a better solution. This is something I tweeted months ago. You know, everybody, they all want to do their own thing. Now they say, oh, we should work together. That's what y'all should have did from jump. It's not about your party being the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. We're talking about the American people. Right. American lives. We all need to work together and come up with a solution to help Americans. Because no one wants to see their loved one die because they couldn't afford health care. But the way that some of these uh, Republicans are out there, they don't care. 
They all say, oh, well, you pledge to do this, so you got to live up to your end of the bargain and do it. Right. No, do it the right way. Right. Do it the right way. Right. So back to um, Donald Trump. He has a million tweets. He done tweeted about 50 times this weekend. <laughs> and um, About nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. So he started his uh, campaign out um, in Alabama by calling NFL players sons of bitches for not wanting to kneel. I mean, for wanting to kneel during the national anthem and saying that it's disrespect to um, our military vets who have been injured or died in war. Mm -hmm. Now what Donald Trump doesn't understand is that when Colin Kaepernick started to kneel, it wasn't to protest against the military, it was to protest against the racial injustice and the police violence of police officers killing African Americans in this country. So he said that he will put his right hand over his heart when the national anthem is played when he feels that America has gotten better. And clearly it hasn't. And with Donald Trump becoming the president, all it has done, all it has done is divide our nation as a country. Um, you got some people saying that, oh, you should kneel, and people saying, no, I'm not going to kneel. And then you have some people that are military veterans coming out and saying they're not offended by it, that you know our country is divided by race and it's just a whole lot going on and that things need to get better. Donald Trump doesn't understand that. So he's trying to put out a call right. to all the NFL owners saying that they should be fired if they don't if they don't want to stand and put their hand over their heart during the national anthem. And you know just a lot of people are just trying to un understand where Donald Trump's coming from. I don't even understand. We know where he's coming from. He's coming from a place where he's still 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 catering to his base, base yeah. to those rednecks who live all the way out in the middle of no fucking where, who feel as though, you know, they're better than everybody and feels as though they're be they're the superior race and this is our country, this is our land, when it's not their country and it's not their land, but this is how they feel. And so therefore, these are the people that helped him get into the White House. So these are the people that he's catering to. As long as Donald Trump, for the next four years, or however long he's in the White House. Oh my God, don't even go past Well, I mean, hello. As long as he's, as long as he can continue to make his base riled up mm -hmm. and angered by what these minorities are doing, he's going to say, listen, fuck everything else that's going on in D.C. Let me just keep getting y'all riled up and riled up so that when the next election comes around, mm -hmm. y'all will be all angry and y'all be ready to go out there and vote and y'all will, you know, just be like, you know, on my side again. That's what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. Never mind the fact, like you said, with the whole Russia investigation, all this new stuff that's coming out, mm -hmm. we haven't even been talking about that. We've been talking about this all goddamn weekend. And every time something happens where new information comes out about Russia, Donald Trump comes up with a new thing that is a whole severe. And that's what I believe he really was doing this, um, to rile everybody up. But it, all it did, all it's doing is dividing people even more yeah. in our nation. But it's also dividing us mm -hmm. because some of us are doing things one way and the other, and another group of us are doing it one way. And now this group is saying, no, you're supposed to be doing it this way. And this group is saying, no, let us do it this way. I mean, we still agree with y'all, but we're doing it. So it's just making us, and that's what they do. Mm -hmm. They're doing that, so now they're sitting back and saying, yeah, look at them niggas getting mad at each other. And of course, now we're all having that crab in the barrel mentality where, no, you're supposed to be kneeling, so you, no, no, you should be, no, I'm not going to kneel, I'm just going to not show up. No, but you need to show up so you can kneel, and that's how it is, and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing? The rednecks are sitting back laughing at us. Yeah. As always. Yeah, and I've heard that, you know, so it was some commotions going on in stadiums across America, seeing that some people were kneeling, a lot of people were booing or people were having disagreements in the stands. You're going to a football game. That's not you're not you're not going there to argue and fight about what someone is doing, mm -hmm. but you gotta remember you have a president who is spewing just hate and just saying a lot of mean things and he's not even aware that people kneeling is not they're not doing it to disrespect the veterans. It's not about them. Donald Trump this morning tweeting that, oh, his tweets are not about race, but it is about... He knows what it's about. He's trying to flip yeah. the script. He's not stupid. J. Cole tweeted, he tweeted, uh, this may be the biggest opportunity we have ever been presented to come together and show the world and ourselves our true economic 
power. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't, I couldn't agree with him more. This right here is a perfect example when something like this, stop buying, stop going to these games. Mm -hmm. Turn it off, okay? This lady at my church, she, she, we had two services yesterday. And I said, you stay for the second service? She said, no, because I have this big football party planned at my house and I got to finish getting the food together. I wanted to say so bad, <coughs> you actually are going to watch the football party? But I said, mm -hmm. let me mind my business because we're still in the sanctuary. We're still in God's house. Mm -hmm. And so let me just mind my damn business. So I said, oh, okay. You know, but I'm like, no, turn it off. Stop watching it. But us, we can't stop watching football because we just so get, we get so caught up in it. Never mind the whole protests and all that. Yeah, if we stop watching it, if we stop buying the tickets, and if our players would stop showing up to work, mm -hmm. then maybe we would let them know. Because, of course, half of us on the damn football teams are 70% black. Okay? And J. Cole is right. If we would exercise our economic power, can you imagine what it is we could do? Mm -hmm. They would have no choice but to say, you know what? You ain't never got to put your hand or stand up for the national anthem. We just yeah. want y'all to come back. And the way um, Trump tried to flip it is that people are not watching and the ratings are low because of people not kneeling. I don't think people will stop watching because people no. are kneeling. Because that's has to one do small that. fragment that's of the entire the show. Script. Yeah. Right. That's just the way you flip it. And he was saying that going to the White House is, is considered a great... That's, no, I won't read that. If a player wants the privilege of making millions of dollars in the NFL or other leagues, he or she should not be allowed to disrespect our great American flag or country and should stand for the national anthem. If not, you're fired. Find something else to do. So that's that was his tweet to the uh, football players. Then he tweeted to, um, and people are over. Roger Goodell of NFL just put out a statement trying to justify the total disrespect certain players show to our country. Tell them to stand. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our flag and country, you will see change take place fast, fire, or suspend. NFL attendance and ratings are way down. Boring games, yes. But many stay away because they love our country. League should back us. Great solidarity from our national anthem and for our great country. Standing with locked arms is good. Kneeling is not acceptable. Bad ratings. So he's okay with people locking arms at these games, but they're doing it to support their teammates. They're not doing it because of the flag. He don't like what people do. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, you know the crazy thing about this is that Donald Trump is worried about people kneeling and disrespecting the flag, but you are also disrespecting three million people that's over in Puerto Rico that has no power, mm -hmm. and you and they are a U.S. territory, and you have not tweeted out anything in support of them, or have done anything to help them, or say that you want to help them people. All you keep tweeting about is, oh, a hurricane, oh, it's the greatest thing, or this is the biggest thing that ever happened. You tweeting about it as if it's a big event. This event makes people lose their homes, their, their everything. Not even an event, it's a disaster. Yeah, it's a disaster. But you're tweeting out like it's, he tweets out like it's a, big, a great event that you must see. Like must see TV on NBC. Like watching you get slayed in the backseat of somebody's car. Oh, no. Hope that's not nothing to say. <laughs> but I've seen some slayings. But no, I'm talking about you. Not nah, not me. Nah, don't put me in that. <laughs> put yourself in this. He tried to help me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm I'm just glad that so many players, including the white players, are standing up towards Donald Trump. Even his boy, uh, what's his name, quarterback for the Patriots. Oh, Tom Brady. Was saying that the way that Donald Trump is doing is something that his father told him not to do and not to be. But Tom Brady supported. Yeah, a lot of people that supported Trump. One, a guy Rex Ryan who works for the NFL Network, he or ESPN, is one of them shows. He was upset that he voted for Trump, and he said, "I voted for Trump, but this is not the Trump that I voted for." Well, which one did you vote for? Because this you has know? been the same Trump that I've been seeing for the past two years. Yeah, but people should have been saying something a long time ago. Don't wait till we start talking about sports, because he already talked about how there were very fine people at a rally, and y'all said nothing. I don't care what profession you are in. If you see something that's not right with our country, you should be able to speak up on it. Speak up and speak out on it. Not only that, what about 
a few weeks ago or a month ago the whole situation with transgenders in the military. Yeah. But you know they're not, they're not speaking about the sports. It. They're not even speak they didn't even speak up about that. Yeah, not as much as they are now. That yeah. was an issue that should have been mm -hmm. talked about. You have individuals, transgender men and women, who are putting their lives on the line. Mm -hmm. The very same individuals that Donald Trump he claims that he's defending and mm -hmm. that Colin Kaepernick and everybody else is disrespecting. Mm -hmm. Those same troops yeah, he told and, but yet people. nobody's defending them. Yeah. But now all of a sudden it's got something to do with the NFL and everybody's up in norms. Oh my God, I can't. No. Yeah. Where were y'all at when Donald Trump said they were going to cut funding and that these people wouldn't be able to fight for our country? Like what? Yeah. And and then NASCAR had the nerve to say any driver who disrespects the flag will be fired. And that's the thing, NASCAR. There ain't too many of us driving this. Yes, you got a whole bunch of rednecks, okay. and you got a whole bunch of people Sorry. carrying the Confederate flag. At NASCAR, yes. Yeah, and what? on the cars. Let me say something. That ain't nothing to me but a KKK meeting, a NASCAR yeah. thing. I've never watched them. I've never been impressed by them, because I don't never see us there. Yeah, but they draw a huge crowds. Of hundreds of thousands of so people. So do KKK rallies. They sure do. They sure do. And they're always very have. fine people. And always have. And they're very fine people. Mm -hmm. According to our true. president mm -hmm. of the United States. Very fine people. I can't wait until the day where we get him out of office. Yeah. I cannot wait. It's coming. It's coming. Because he's going to violate something. And he's I, already, go ahead. And, uh, what's his name is already on his tail. Robert Mueller is on his tail. Oh, yeah. He is. Yeah. That's why Trump keeps trying to distract us from that. But I hope and pray we are getting closer and closer to 2018. Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys are registered to vote. Because next year are midterm elections. And we need to do our best to get all of Trump supporters out of Congress, okay? Yes. Find out who it is that's running for your state representative and your uh, your, your, wherever you live at. Find out, get in tune to what's going on, and make sure you guys go out next November to vote. Please. Because the less Trump supporters we have out there in Congress, the better it is for us to get him out of the White House come 2020 or even sooner than that, okay? But y'all have to get out there and vote. Y'all can't sit down and say, oh, well, I don't, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Because our grandparents and our great-grandparents, they didn't do that when they were out there, out there marching dying and vote. dying and getting beat up yeah. for us to be able to vote. They didn't do that. So please make sure y'all get out there and vote. I say it every election season. Yeah. Every election season. I say it every election season. Get out there and <clears throat> vote because it is so important. Mm -hmm. It's so important. We need to get this buffoon out of the White House. We need him out of the White House, and we need him out of the White House as of two weekends ago. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's like, what else can people say? It's like, what else can Trump do? Who else can he um, Trump upset? Trump at this point can go out in the middle of the street and call us all niggas, and wouldn't nobody be upset? No, he Not can't be that wet. Yeah, yeah. No, it's basically what yeah, he Then you got, I, I just can't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You know, I just, I just, I, 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 I stand with those players who are not afraid. And you had one base, baseball player who he was the first baseball player to kneel during the national anthem, and he got so much love and support. And I want, I, I just really want those people to understand that it's not about the military because this only started in 2009, and the military gets a cut from the NFL anyway. But you guys got to remember, no matter what profession you in, we are all Americans. We all need to wake up and we all need to, I mean, it sounds good, like, to love each other and stuff like that. It, it, you should want to. We should all want to support each other and not be divided. But race is something that's always going to divide us. And we need more of the good than the bad. And we need more people to step up. And if you are a white player on these teams, how can you not try to sympathize with these with with the African American players on your team. Mm -hmm. And and I'm glad that a lot of owners and a lot of white people are speaking up saying, I don't know what it's like to be a black person right. in America. At least they're at least they're seeing why they're doing it and trying to understand. But a lot of them are not going out all the way to understand what can they do to make things better or try to understand. Mm -hmm. And more people talk to each other and try to understand why we feel the way we do, then we can attempt to make America better. And going back to America great again, I can't think of a time where this country was great. 
okay? You can't say it was during the slavery times. You can't say it when the women couldn't vote. You can't say it when African Americans couldn't vote. When, what mm -hmm. point can you say that America is great to the point where you want to go back to that America? Mm -hmm. Where? Where are we going? I, I, I don't get it. But I'm, I'm just so glad to see that these these football players and basketball players who make a lot of money and who are the stars of those teams are now using their platform to step up and say something because they're not afraid to be fired. I know that a lot of the um, the rookies and stuff like that, they don't want to do it because they are afraid to be fired from a team, but I'm glad somebody's doing it. And you can't tell me that Colin Kaepernick is not on a football team because he is not a great football player. Mm -hmm. What distraction is he going to bring to your team that the president hasn't already done distracting mm -hmm. our country? Mm -hmm. What else can Colin Kaepernick do? He's donating his money. He's spending time with these people mm -hmm. with uh, with um, at risk youth. He's doing everything he can, and he still wants to play football. And all of these teams, 32 owners, are saying no to hiring Colin Kaepernick. Which one of y'all 32 owners will have the balls to step up and say, you know what? I will put him on my team. Right. Even if you are not in the position of needing a quarterback right. on your team, let's have Colin Kaepernick on our team just to say that we support our African American football players who are kneeling. And this right. is why they're kneeling. Where are y'all at? Out of 32 owners, you mean to tell me you don't need a football player? I mean, a quarterback? You can't use him? Somewhere, anywhere, <laughs> and the way our <laughs> country is out there running around. Field. If he's getting injured, we're going to need somebody. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be on the field. No. But I'm glad that they're kneeling. And who's who? Are you going to fire the whole team? What if every African American. Could you think of a place you need them at? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what if every African American football player or on these sports teams stopped showing up to the job? Now, hockey wouldn't matter. But if they stop showing up in baseball, it wouldn't matter. But everywhere else, especially in football and basketball, you mean to tell me? And bullfighters. Yeah. But see, the thing Wait, is. I don't think they play bullfighters. You know what? We some bullfighters tonight. Right. Now, I tell you what. Y'all need to stop after like these NFL, NBA, and all of these owners are plantation owners. Oh, you're all you're you're workers. Yeah. Get get yeah. your workers in check. Get your niggas in check. Okay. Yeah, or crack that whip on their back. Okay. That's how President Trump is talking to these owners. Yeah, and some that's how some feel anyway. Any My players. Goddamn way. Yeah. Remember that one owner a few years ago? Donald yeah. Stern. Yeah. Oh yeah, she got them together real good, and she needed to. And I'm glad she got cool. Yes, they are not playing yeah, tennis. Would you hire Colin Kaepernick? Yes, it's no reason why he's not on the basketball team. No, I'm just—he's not a basketball. I mean, football player. player. <laughs> you know what I meant to say? It's too many sports that Trump is fucking. But with. I'm saying you're not a sports owner, could you, so could you use him in other ways? For football, yes. Or if if any of these uh, NFL, I mean, if any of these sports teams are right. smart, use they can get them ESPN. ESPN. Be an analyst. Would you like to use them in other ways? I'll, hey, no, we're not going there because that's not my thing. It looks like I'm so man. But, you know, I like what he's doing out there. You know? <laughs> but you know when I think of Gonzo, I think of the nose. <laughs> he's about to have a stitch. Gonzo, do got a nose. He does. But them eyes, go ahead, look at it. Look at yeah, them okay. Them eyes is like, bitch. <laughs> Don't go, don't Google it, God fucking. But I'm I'm glad that Kaepernick is not afraid to still keep speaking up. You see how close they are? Look at that. When he said the bigger the nose, the bigger the. Ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> the bigger the nose. Wait, no. It's, I, it's, it's so it's, many theories out there. <laughs> Feet, hands, finger. You know the thickness of your finger. Which you say you, oh, you never had anything like that. We're not going. <laughs> oh, they got married. Who's that? This guy I follow him and his girlfriend. Yes. And I remember I, when they first started dating, I remember because he, 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 it was only supposed to be about sex. And he said that, you know, they both agreed that it was just supposed to be about sex. But who came up with it first? What? Him or her? About it being just about sex. I don't know. He said it was, they both agreed to, and she's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. yeah. But no, he was saying that they both were on the same page. That, you know, they just, because yeah. he was like, we're too grown to be. I like, I like sex. when people yeah. are like right. that. I'm too old. And I was like, wow, he said, oh, be he said listen, we're too old to be pretending that we are in a relationship. And then it went from 
you know, yeah, and then they start sex so bloom in a relationship. And now they're married. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. And I and I'm they're um, a really nice couple too. Really I nice wish that more people were like that. Mm -hmm. You know, say up front what you want. And then a lot of people wouldn't be feeling all crazy about relationships. But you know what, Donald Trump, I can't wait until you're out of office. If this don't happen this year, it's going to happen next year. They go, something's going to happen. And then your children are out here with private emails. And, and emailing the government, and you were out here running about Hillary Clinton. So everything that you criticize Hillary Clinton for, you have your children or or your step stepchildren, your uh, in laws are doing the same thing. Is this is this messed up for our country? But I say thank you to everyone that takes a knee, including Stevie Wonder, who did the Global Citizens Fest on Friday. He said, "I'm not going to take one knee. I'm going to take two knees." And then he commenced to killing it inside Central Park. Yes. And he did a great job. And couldn't see a thing he was doing. No. But he took that knee. Yeah. <laughs> but the sun was there. The sun was right there while he took that knee. Yeah. And that's how it was Yeah. Now, somebody who can't see nothing in front of him can take a knee. You can take one too. Yeah. But you know how good he is? He was able to name whoever was out there with him, like even the children, while he was out there playing that piano. Because they probably was with him backstage. I don't know. But he was like, yeah, that's my grandbaby. Yeah, so, 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 so. So you wouldn't hire um, Kyle Kaepernick? For what? Colin Kaepernick, I'm, I don't have him, I'm not in a position to hire him. You could be in a position. No, because bitch, I don't pay for a goddamn thing. You're trying. <laughs> Do you know how to pay for Colin Kaepernick? <laughs> he can pay me a shit. Bitch, because I don't pay for a goddamn thing. I don't. I'm not in a position I'm to hire him. But you could be in a position. I'm barely in a position to hire you. And you want to talk about Colin Kaepernick? <laughs> what damn good is it to have him? <laughs> Yeah, I'm having problems with my own. What damn good is it to have a damn show <laughs> when you can't pay your employees? <laughs> ah, Colin Kaepernick, give us a show. How about that? Come on, this show. Yeah, if we can talk to him. Yeah. And what you want to talk about? Listen, hey. Besides the NFL. I'll talk about anything. We can talk about the body issue of him being a sports illustrator. You know, the body issue, ESPN body issue. But thank y'all for watching. I just wanted to get, I didn't want to include Trump in our video with the other good stuff. But I thank y'all for watching. We will be back later this week with another new video. And by the way, happy fall. Happy fall. And shout out to the Libras. It doesn't feel like fall. No, it don't. 91 degrees today. It's been, it's going to be like in the early 90s, 80s all this week. Yeah, our weather is like that. Well, I'm, I'm not complaining. Right now we not. But I feel like once it gets cold, it's going to be cold. Hopefully. I mean, if we get another 70 degree Christmas, I wouldn't be mad at that. But no, I wouldn't either. But global warming is real. Really. It's real. Yeah, look at all these hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. Okay. But shit is just happening. It's happening. And remember what I'm saying about all the Puerto Ricans um, coming together for to help Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. Lynn Manuel from um, Miranda from, um, what's the show? Hamilton. He said that he's trying to get together all every famous Puerto Rican singer he knows. Because he's trying to do something to help Puerto Rico. Right. Well, Puerto Rico. Now that's something that our president Lopez has donated a million dollars. And her ex-husband tweeted and called out Donald Trump for focusing on the NFL, not focusing on the Puerto Rico, Rico, which is a yeah. territory. Mm -hmm. yep. And what about the U.S. Virgin Islands? He hasn't even been there. He hasn't been anywhere. But he can sit there and tweet. And then he got his wife got the nerve to talk about bullying. And you're... Melania, it starts inside the White House. And before that, it started inside Trump fucking Tower. And before that, it started down in mar lago Yeah. And before that, it started in whatever uh, Yugoslavian uh, yeah. bar he found. Yeah, and you need to speak up for the immigrants. Because you are an immigrant in the White House. Yes, she is. And you didn't sign up to be the um, first lady. And I like her. I like her fashion. Yeah, she, I like, that's what I mean. I like her fashion. But she need to know when to wear her fashion. You don't you wear high heel shoes out of the White House to go to Houston. Come on. Come the fuck on. No. She wore them out of the White House. No, to be fair. She wore them out of the White House to go to Houston. But when she got oh, off the plane. I could be saying no, this. but when she got no, because it's true. When she got off the plane, she had on she had her clothes. Yeah, because they say what was going on on Twitter. Her clothes were changed. So she, yeah. I don't think she planned on because she had on flat sneakers and all that. Don't do that. Don't defend her. And the baseball game. Well, I mean, come on. She was leaving out of the White House. That's why Air Force One has a bathroom and a private suite for them so they can get changed at. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what to think about what they're doing at. I don't think they're doing at. Well, so. uh, hello, they obviously did. They have a son. Are, you, do, are they doing it now? No. Well, I don't know if they're doing it now. 
No, she don't want to be there. No, she don't want to be in his presence. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And she hates speaking publicly. Yeah, she said. She sounds she, like the two. Yeah, <laughs> let me stop. What well, she did? She <laughs> said it, it, it just run the roll. <laughs> we ain't shit. Thank y'all for watching another video and we will see you guys. It just run the room. We will see you guys on Thursday. We'll see you guys Thursday with a new video. How much you think he paid her? What? How much you think he paid her? Too much money. He paid her to stay. He paid me to stay. Nah, not me. You want people that this I almost said something I shouldn't. Have. Let me tell you something. <laughs> My bills are stacked up high. They gonna he call. Can, hey, what do you want to do? You, what you, you mean with Trump? They gonna call him a nigga lover. Let me tell you. Hey, listen. I will pop a pill every night. I gotta go see him. <laughs> Cause I wanna be out of my mind when I'm over there. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>